Question number 116. The stem is underground and stores food in. So first of all, you have to find out the stem. Radish, it stores food. And it is a root. Sweet potato, again, storage root. In Icornia, we can see the offset, which is a modification of the subaerial stem and does not store food. Ginger, yes, it is the underground stem which stores the food. So, the correct option for the given question is option number 1. Question number 117. How many of the given are modification of axillary buds? Grape wine tendrils. Yes, in grape wines, if you see the tendrils, these are modifications of the axillary buds. Thorns of Bougainvillea, again modification of buds. Spines of Opentia, tendrils of pea, spines in aloe, these are not the modification of axillary buds. Instead, they are modifications of leaves. So, how many of them are modification of axillary buds? Two. So, the correct option for the given question is option number one. Let's move to the next question. Question number 118. Stem modifies into fleshy cylindrical structure and performs photosynthesis in. The question is talking about the phylloclade. Phylloclade can be seen in option number 1 as well as option number 3. But here in the question it is mentioned it should be fleshy cylindrical structure. In Opentia, it is flattened. In Euphorbia, it is fleshy and cylindrical. So, the correct option for the given question is option number 3. What about the Australian Acacia? Australian Acacia has phyllode. So, please don't get confused between phyllocleid and the phyllode as phyllocleid, it's a modification of the stem whereas phyllode, it's a modified petiole. Let's move to the next question. Question number 119. In which of the given plants, all the leaflets are present at the tip of the petiole? All the leaflets. It means the question is talking about the compound leaf. And if the compound leaf has all the leaflets at the tip of the petiole, this type of compound leaf is called palmately compound leaf leaf and palmately compound leaf is seen in silk cotton. So the correct option for the given question is option number one. What about the other options? Elastonia and Nerium they show the world phyllo taxi and neem shows the pinnately compound leaves. Question number 120 match the column one with column two and select the correct option. Here you can find some difficulty in matching because this is memory based. If you remember even two of them, you can find out the answer. How? For example, I remember that solanum, it shows cymos in fluorescence. So D matches with the second. Option number two and four are ruled out because D matches with second in option number one and three. Now, what about the calotropis? Kerotropis shows the opposite phyllotaxy. I remember this also. So C matches with fourth. C matches with fourth in only third option. Option number one is also ruled out. And now you have got the answer that China Rose, it has alternate phyllotaxy and the mustard has flowers born in the acropetal order because mustard shows the racemos in fluorescence. So, A matches with third and B matches with first. So, the correct option for the given question is option number three. Let's move to the next question. 